Sir Julius is one of the few veterans of PNG politics still left after more than 40 years. Today marked a significant milestone in his career. At the start of the PPP convention in late today, he handed over the reins of a party he founded before independence. But the handing over of leadership between two New Islanders can mean a lengthy traditional ceremony involving shell money and pigs. We got all the chiefs here and all the leaders here to perform the customary ritual to recognize this transfer of leadership. We can do it politically, we've done it, we've made an announcement, but new, this one now entrenched uh, in the hearts and minds of the ele electors back at home. At every government since independence, the PPP has played important roles. It's held the Prime Minister's post, the Deputy PM's and various ministries. The party is now looking at forging ahead as a stronger power in the coalition. How to do that will be discussed over the next two days. This party has only survived for so long because of its uh, commitment to, firstly, to principles, like Sir Julius uh, stated today, and secondly, to the commitment for stability and progress, which eventually should lead to the prosperity of our people. While much of the focus has been on the new leadership, there's also tremendous respect from New Islanders and other Papua New Guineans for the man who stood with Somare when the first government was formed and the constitution written. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Leigh.